Hello everyone, Ravi here from Lama Index. Um, welcome to another tutorial video in uh, agent video series. So in this uh, video, we'll look into controlling agent reasoning loop with redirect in tools. So far we have seen uh, react agent and uh, function calling agent um, with different tools. Uh, in these cases, what we have seen is whatever the uh, tool output is, we'll send it to LLM and refine the response, right? Uh, uh, to show it as a final response but in some cases uh, we actually don't need to send the tool output to uh, an LLM uh, to refine the response and get the final um, refined response so in those cases uh, how can um, you stop sending the tool output to um, LLM and give a final response instead whatever the tool output is uh, just uh, give it as a final output All right so for those cases, uh, uh, return direct will be useful. So if it is enabled, uh, whenever the specific tool is called, um, uh, it will not send the output of the tool to the LLM. It will just directly uh, uh, send as a final output. So we'll see how you can use it. We'll conduct two experiments uh, by uh, for a specific tool. We'll enable it and uh, disable it uh, and conduct two experiments and see how the outputs are changing. So we'll demonstrate that with help of uh, a restaurant booking example. So we'll define a pedantic uh, booking uh, class. Um, so for book making a booking, we need name and date, time, and uh, various other probably phone number, email, and various other details. Uh, we'll define all this in the pedantic uh, uh, model class and various other functions to complete the booking confirmation right so for one of these functions we'll enable uh, and disable and see how the outputs are changing okay so let's get started with it so we'll import necessary things uh, set up the llm and then as said uh, we'll manage uh, restaurant bookings uh, with the uh, booking uh, class pedantic model and we have uh, these four functions uh, get booking state update booking create booking and confirm booking so for create booking and confirm booking we actually don't need the tool output to be sent to uh, llm uh, because for creating uh, create booking like okay uh, the booking has started okay that is fine and confirm booking um, booking is confirmed when all the uh, necessary fields are filled right so we don't actually need to send it to llm and then for update booking yes we need to uh, send it to llm because that will uh, make the llm ask the user uh, the follow-up questions of uh, certain fields are necessary to make a final booking confirmation right so in a uh, natural language way like uh, asking it to the user will be a good way and then for uh, get booking we actually don't need uh, the details sent to be sent to llm right uh, we can directly give it a, as a final output whatever the details of the particular booking are there so we'll disable and enable uh, this particular uh, booking state function so that you'll understand how uh, the output changes uh, with redirect uh, return direct enabled and disabled so we'll define all these functions here uh, with booking class uh, get booking state update booking create booking and confirm booking which are uh, pretty much self-explanatory here and then so as said we'll conduct two experiments uh, uh, return direct not enabled and return direct enabled okay so we'll just run it and then user id and and a prefix message uh, to start the conversation and we'll create uh, the f agent here so you have llm you have tools you have prefix messages of what uh, the agent does for a particular user and then uh, and let's uh, create start booking so i said i look i'd like to make a booking here okay and then uh, then it started asking okay some specific id uh, create booking created and then uh, but not yet confirmed because we need all these details so name um, mail and all so i'll say my name is ravi and my email is ravi.gmail.com 
and then so it updated the booking with user id and uh, value name is ravi email is this but still we need phone number date time right so i say i'll say my phone number is x and then preferred date and time is april 20 and 12 pm so so it has passed and yeah so now it says booking id is confirm function call output so as you can see this is not an llm response it's just a function call a specific function or tool output right so now i'll ask uh, our provide details of user specific user okay now it gave the function output is actually in a uh, probably dictionary format and then llm parsed it and gave a final response here name email phone number date and time right so you can see that uh, it is sent to llm for final response uh, which actually is not needed you can directly send this whatever uh, dictionary is there right so we'll see how you can do that uh, in the second experiment here we'll uh, make return direct true so that you don't send the final uh, booking details of the user when we ask uh, to llm to get a final response so let's run it let's uh, have prefix message and user create agent and then follow the same steps again uh booking is created and then uh, my name and email are specified here and they are updated and it asks for uh, what is the phone number date and time right and then these are updated here and then it says booking is confirm so now i'll ask the details now you can see it just uh, gave the tool output it did not uh, send it to llm to refine a response right so so these this way you can actually uh, stop sending the tool output directly to the llm for a refine response rather just uh, get the output from the tool and get it done so do experiment with it uh, with more examples um, see you in the next video thank you